Don't forget to press the subscribe button and click the bell icon to stay up to date with all our videos. Okay guys, so what we have here from the previous video is we will we are having a search component and we have a result component and app is a parent. So we are passing our state from this child which is the search component into the app component successfully as you can see here. And now what we need to do is we need to call the API at this point. We will be calling the admam API. So calling API here and then it will pass on the result into search our result. Just like here at this point and we haven't created result yet. So let's create react functional component and it will just use the angle bracket at this point and we'll just show h1 result okay so this should work we will be having an issue of auto import at this point so now we will have result so if you can see it's going to show result but the issue is we don't have any anything at this point to display but before that let me clear this thing uh, warning invalid DOM property for so in the search component it doesn't recognize this for so I'll take this thing off HTML for did you mean HTML for okay it's supposed to be HTML for HTML for and for the other one I think it's a class name so this is going to be class name class name and I think the error should go away which it didn't so HTML oh okay F capital so all right so which is great so let's uh, let me even do one slight modification here and that modification will be instead of first name I'll have search uh, search for recipe or yeah I can just do search for recipe and in the placeholder instead of placeholder add ingredients here okay so this is okay, not too good, but yeah, it's okay for us. So banana and we get it in the parent and let's create or make an API call at this point. So let me first create a function constant get recipes and this will be a function and in this one will do fetch here and get data here so first of all let me go into the admem api documentation so we can get the idea how to call the api so if you look at this point the this is the path which you are supposed to call and let us take a look okay so this is the exact thing which we are supposed to call and we will be considering from because we really like to do the pagination thing so we will take that into consideration and let me just do a fetch at this stage fetch and first one is supposed to be a URL and second one should be a parameter so unexpected string this is not bad this is okay next one will be hmm, okay let us see Search. No template curly and I think this should work but we need the app key and 
app ID. We can put it in a config file, but for this tutorial, I'll just go ahead and use my own keys. So I do have my key, it has some limited use. So again, don't try to use this key, but you can, it's, it's fairly simple and it's free, so you can just use your key, that's not a problem. Okay, so here is my application key. I'll just change it. Application key. And. Oh, okay, because the issue is I haven't used the literal. And this should go away. And we don't have app ID. So I will have const app ID. Your app ID equals to this guy over here, and it's supposed to be a string. And const your app key is supposed to be this guy over here. And this should be good to go. And one thing we need to do here is from 0 to 10. We need like 10 recipes so this should be attached to another function or I can just use a wait so a wait fetch and let me declare it constant result equals to this guy and we will be getting a data and we need to get the JSON out of it so const data equals to await result dot json and i think we should get the data over here so let's console log data and we will put this uh, function into use effect so use effect first parameter is supposed to be a function and second parameter is supposed to be a condition when it's supposed to change so we want a condition every time when a search term is changed we want to do an api call so here you can see i'll have to pass in this uh, function into the use effect just because i don't use get recipe anywhere else i'll just use it inside of use effect so if I don't do that, it's going to throw an error. So that is the reason I have to add it into the use effect. So we will be calling the get recipe at this stage and it's, it's throwing some error. So let's see what it is. Okay, it's a wait and we are not using async. So the error should go away. Most probably it should. Okay, so let's see. Sync get recipe. Let's see what the issue is. Mm, use effect is not defined. Okay, use effect. All right, so the error is gone, and you can see something at this stage. Let me put my charging on. All right, so see we are getting a response and in this response we got a bunch of recipes and this recipes is having a key name which is chicken so we can have a bunch of other things so for example let's put in like a search name or search term and initially it will be empty so it's supposed to show you nothing so when you see the, when it's empty it's gonna be nothing when i put in banana it's again gonna do and it's gonna fetch the list of recipes this is great so we are getting something brilliant banana loaf and we get 10 recipes of banana which is great now the thing is that Let's see how many recipes we found. We have found like 31,000 or approximate around 32,000 recipes. But we just have 10 recipes. 
So what are we supposed to do? We can do two things. One thing could be a pagination where you will have one to nine uh, one to nine number then when you click on it it's gonna auto increment or you can do previous and next so those two things you can do it and we will be using the previous and next so just to make things easier for us and how are we gonna do it we will be doing it in this way we'll add a pagination uh, value and pagination will always be zero like starting with zero set pagination use state it will start with zero and we will be using pagination at this stage in this from so from is supposed to be pagination and the 2 is supposed to be pagination plus 10 just to get like 10 recipes plus 10 okay so this is a number always and yeah so let's do one thing let's pass in that pagination and set pagination as well so pagination as a prop into the result and set pagination just to so that we can update it so pagination set pagination which is okay and we go into the result and pre previous and I'll have another P next okay and I'll create a function just to check because at this point what I'll do is I'll decrement the pagination count by one point uh, uh, not one point by ten points so what would happen here is that if the previous uh, value or the previous pagination value is zero we don't want it to go to minus ten so we will check that thing in the previous one and we can even check that particular thing into the next but right now it's going to be okay so let us do this thing that for the previous constant previous uh, click so in this function first of all we will check we have like pagination and set pagination so I'll just destructure it pagination set pagination and if pagination equals to zero return you won't it won't do anything but if it's not zero that's when you are supposed to do something so set pagination pagination minus 10 and for next click We will just simply do set pagination pagination plus 10 and we'll pass it on to this guys on click previous click on click next click so this should work as we expect and one thing we'll do here is we'll check for state at this point pagination and this is C is showing you an error because we need to add pagination as a parameter as well in the use effect to check if pagination is updated you are supposed to call this result again so that is the reason we we need to add it into this the second parameter of use effect so here you can see the pagination is empty is zero and you don't have anything if I do a next it's gonna be the same thing see it's empty alright so now I want you to pay attention to one thing and that will be the recipe name so let's say or let's take the name of banana again and it is going to give you a bunch of recipes 
So make sure you remember this name for a while. Banana Blueberry Smoothie is the first recipe as the zeroth index. Ninth recipe is chocolate and banana, right? So there are 31,000 counts. If I do next, it is going to go ahead and fetch other outputs, other result. And see this from 10 to 20. And the first one would not be the blueberry one. Banana cookie recipe, see? And the ninth, so the tenth item is banana Nutella crepes. So this is great and it's working as we are expecting. So in the next video, what we will do is we will start working on the result component and displaying this particular result into this block. So stay tuned and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.